Hello guys, today let's create a heat effect in Niagara. So first, we need the shock wave effect created in the previous video. Here we need some changes. Give it a color in particle update, not that not scale color. We need a color from curve. Let it slowly change from blue at the beginning to pink. The opacity at the end also one. Then we need a curve in scale alpha, zero to one to zero. And the scale curve, we need a 0 0.2. Okay, then we copy this emitter. We need a black shock wave. Just change scale color to zero. Okay, now let's create a glow effect. The material we use here is a simple circle. Yeah, it's here. We created this material in previous video. So we just show it here and not recreate it again. Okay, let's use it in Sprite Render. Copy this color and add a spawn burst. Yes, we can see the glow effect. Then let's change it lifetime to 0.4. And the Sprite size, we need a random uniform, 500 to 600. And color, we set scale curve to 0.1, make it more transparent. Okay. Now let's add a scale speed size, uniform curve, and 0 to 1. Scale curve, we set it to 2, make it bigger. Okay, then let's create a flyer emitter. Copy glow emitter, rename it, and we use the flyer material. Also, we created this material in previous video. Use this material to emitter. In color, we set scale curve to 5. Make it bigger and brighter. And the spawn count, we need 3. Also, spread rotation, we need return normalized index. Okay, we get a flare effect. Uh, it's a little too big. Let's change it scale spread size to 1. And scale color, 20. Left time to random. 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Okay, it looks better. Now let's copy this emitter. We need a smaller, brighter flare effect. So scale spread size, we set it to 0 0.5. And color, we set scale color to 1000. Then add a dynamic material parameters. We need a curve in power, 10 to 20. Okay, it looks good. Then let's create a smoke emitter. We need a smoke material. Also, we created this material in previous video. Use this material and add a spawn burst. 20 lifetime we need a random mean is 0 0.6 max is 1 also we need a random split size 100 to 200 and a random split rotation then at the shape location we need a sphere shape radius is 50 also, we need a velocity from point. Velocity speed, we need a random range, 20 to 50. 
Then copy the color. Scale color we set it to 1. Also we need a scale spread size. 0 to 1. And a dynamic material parameter. Offset and time we need a random range 0 to 1. Power is a curve 2 to 5. Then add a curve noise force. We need a random force 80 to 100 and use plan noise field just one. Okay, let's see it in the level. Yeah, pretty good. Now let's create some spark effect. Here we use the templates confetti burst. First, we change the material to default spread. Alignment, we need velocity. Life cycle is system. Life time is 0.8 to 1.5. And spirit size, we need random 9 uniform. Mean is 2 and 4. Max is 4 and 8. Then change velocity speed. Max is 300. And copy the color. Scale color is 100. Okay, delete gravity force and add a curve noise force. Noise strength, we need a bigger random value. 5000 to 10000. Also use pan noise field. Then let's create another spark effect. Let it be affected by gravity. Also we use templates. Rename these emitters and change its alignment to velocity. Life cycle system velocity mode also from point. And copy the color. Also delete scale color. We don't use it. Okay, just this. Let's see it in the level. Yeah, it looks good. But we also need a reflection effect. Add an empty emitter. And we use the reflection material. It's very simple, just this node. The texture provided by engine. The only thing we need to note that is in the details, let's search reflection. We can see the reflection method is index of reflection. By default, it's disabled, so we need to select Index of Reflection. Okay, let's use it in Spirit Render. Add a Spawn Burst. And left time, we need a random value. 0 0.15 to 0 0.2. Spirit Size also random uniform. 500 to 600. Then add a random Spirit Rotation. In the practical update, we need to scale spread size 0 to 1, ok. Uniform curve scale, we can set it to 2, make it bigger. Then add scale color, we need to change it alpha to control the reflection effect. Add a curve 0 0.8 to 1. Ok, now we can see the reflection effect. Also, we finished the heat effect. Let's see it in the level. Yeah, I think it looks good. Ok, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!